Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 3! Today we're in Chaos Castle, still exploring. However, thankfully, the worst of it is over. We are done with all like the really annoying puzzles and things like that that we have to mess with. We're done with the conveyor belts, we're done with the moving platforms. We're just kind of nicely going through this pretty tower, you know? It's pretty nice. The only thing that we really have to deal with now are a bit stronger monsters, but for the most part you can... I was gonna say you can avoid them, but there they are. Let's see who we got here. Ooh, okay. So, uh, same guys that we've dealt with before. Uh, yeah, just keep going with whatever you're doing, you're fine. I'm not too worried about these guys. Uh, the birds, they can regenerate, so you don't want to leave them around for too long, although it's not a lot to worry about, but for the most part, as long as you've been keeping up with, you know, stats and things like that, you should be fine. I wouldn't even worry about it. So you get that teleporter that allows you to escape a dungeon just by using it, kind of like an exit spell. We bought a couple of those back in town. Okay, we got lots of new stuff here. The, uh... Okay, let's just let's just go all out, then I'll talk about these guys. Um, the Megarias have 183 HP. They're weak to fire. The uh, Durandals have 202 HP. They're not really weak to anything. Uh, those Killer Butterflies are weak to fire. And they have 161 HP. Ooh, I sparked Thundaga. Finally, it's about freaking time I've only been using this since the very beginning of the game. So, yeah. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what you use against these guys, because they're just trash mobs. You know, use whatever you want just to, you know, gain it up. Um, if you want to work on, you know, your recovery spells, or if you want to work on agility for your espers, go ahead and do that. Um, don't worry about what they're weak against, because it really doesn't matter all that much. Um, I just have my little beast cherry open and up just to inform y'all um, if you really care, even though you could probably kill him with, you know, anything that you want. It really doesn't matter. Ugh. Chain encounter, lovely. Yeah, my days of avoiding encounters are over. Sucks. Oh, a werecat. Huh, he's not on my list. Who knew? Oh well. So, here's a werecat. Yeah, there he is. Um, we'll take care of them easy enough, though. Uh, those Durandals, though, they do resist weapon attacks, like sword attacks and things like that. Um, not as much as, like, the stones do, but, eh, they're there. Oh, what do we got here? Some more new monsters here. Yeah, that, like, beetle, purple beetle-looking thing. Oh, well, we're not gonna figure out what that was. <laughs> you know, they... They uh, come, but you can't tell what they are until you actually target them. There's no way to, to know what they are unless you memorize uh, their portraits, and I'm not memorizing portraits anytime soon. So, yeah. So sue me. Okay. Wow. Gloria went from, like, gaining no magic to... Ha she's five more magic now than uh, Curtis. So, she went from being pretty crappy to being, like, my better caster, so that's pretty nice. Although, it's would be better if they were kind of even. Here we got the Psycho Armor, which is pretty useful, actually. I'm going to give that to Gloria. Uh, the reason being is, is that not only does it raise your defense, but it also raises your agility. Like, insane amounts of agility, insane amounts of defense. It's really nice to have. So I'm going to give that to her. Um, you could also give it to your Beast Man, and that would allow Sharon to um, do much more damage with her, with her, uh, martial arts attacks, but I'd rather get healing off first. I think that healing is your top priority, rather than, uh, dealing with, you know, higher damage from martial arts. Look okay, at the fire shield. That works as a weapon, kind of. You just use it, and, um, uh, uh whenever you use it, it increases your defense. And it has a chance of actually increasing your natural defense. Great. When you use it in battle. Um, I'm not too worried about it, though. I may have it just for, uh, you know, random battles and things like that and give it to one of my espers who needs it. I might give it to Curtis or something like that. But here we get the circulate. And, uh, hmm, I'll give that to Sharon. Why not? Let's see. Yeah. And this resists stone. And Chaos, who's the boss at the top of the Chaos Castle, surprise, surprise, he can inflict stone, so 
It would be nice to be able to uh, protect against that. Is that you, Ashura? Sorry, but we beat that creep. And who are you? We're here for the future warp. Hand it over. And if I refuse? They always refuse. Then we'll take it by force. Beating Asher only sealed your doom. I'll finish what he started. Yikes! Yeah, he had my 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 world famous and who are you? It's actually my mother's world famous thing. She says that all the time whenever anybody like comes over that she's that that uh, she doesn't know who they are. She's like, and who are you? And she says it like so snottily. <laughs> <laughs> it cracks me up every time I hear it. I don't know. So anyway, uh, we're going to go against Chaos himself with 3,000 HP. Um, he also has some rocks there who are weak to water, so I want to go ahead and get them out of the way by uh, using water attacks and also that water sword. He's vulnerable to wind, however, wind doesn't do that much damage, but eh, he's vulnerable towards it, so eh, might as well use it. Holy crap! She needs, to, she needs a heal, like, stat. Man, even using Arthur and Gloria to uh, attack these guys, they're still alive. Ugh. How dare you live? Um, keep on going. Yeah, you need to heal yourself since you have the higher agility. Use a pallet kick on Chaos. And I'm going to go ahead and use my present um, on him. Yeah, definitely against Chaos. Do some nice damage there. Whoa, almost 1,000 damage. Sweet. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you're using, you could be healing with all of your party members, and you use the present drive, it still deals a shit ton of damage to the uh, enemy, and it also uh, gets rid of their turn. So since he is weak to uh, wind, I should use that Coral Sword, we'll see how much that does. It has 41 multiplier, uh, yeah, use the healing on uh, Sharon, there we go. It has a 41 multiplier, so I would be interested to see how much damage it does compared to my Katana, which has a 45 multiplier, but it doesn't have a wind elemental. Whoa! 200 damage with a quake. Okay, so here we go. With a combo and a wind sword, I am looking forward to see how much damage this does. Whoa! 231! Hey! Not bad, actually. Um, yeah. I'm gonna stick to that. Um, I was gonna move over to the, um, what is it called? The katana, but not so much anymore. 231 is nothing to sneeze at. There we go. It'd be really nice if I can get a group healing spell sometime this century. That would just be lovely, but it doesn't seem to be going on right now. Uh, ooh! Sparked Zenith Drive! Hey! Let's see, check this one out. Ooh! With a 43 multiplier. Hey, not bad at all. Um, yeah, heal Sharon. And keep going. So this guy can be pretty difficult. It doesn't look like he has any group attacks, though, thankfully. Um, it's just single target attack, so as long as you have somebody keeping up with healing, and hopefully they'll have like a level 2 healing spell, then it should be fine. Whoa, he went up to 269. Hey, nice. Yeah, just keep on going. And who do I want to heal now? Heal Arthur. He's actually dealing a really good amount of damage. But I haven't been able to upgrade my uh, Jitsus in quite some time. My sword's got a lot of upgrading. Um, I was able to get elemental swords, and katanas, and other great swords and things like that. But with the jitsus, all I had was punch and kick. So I'm really kind of lagging behind on that. Oh, finally, Curtis got some magic. That's nice. What do you plan to do by taking the future warp? We're going to save the future, of course. You foolish. Your future's already at the bottom of the sea. Oh, well, that's not creepy at all. That's what we're here to save it from. Hey, you get the hover engine? And the future warp! Sweet! Great! You found the future warp? Let's go have Cronus check it out! Hello! You've returned safely, Arthur. Oh, that's right! Allow me to introduce them, Grandma. These children are... I already know. We met 15 years ago. And how is Freja, Arthur, my dear? She's doing well. She's living in Darm on the Eastern Continent now. I see. By the way, Cronus, about this future warp. Understood. I'll examine it right away. Sorry to keep you waiting, there's no doubt. This is the genuine future warp. Great! Then we can go back to the future with it. Oh, I got so busy, I almost forgot. While you were in the past, I discovered another Stilethanos component. I'd like you to have it. Oh, great! Get the time stop device, sweet! So, do you intend to leave for the future right away? We do. That was the whole point of our journey. In that case, I'd like to see you off. 
It'll be the final confirmation of my studies. We'll go ahead of you to the shrine. Okay, great. Uh, that time stop device you can use... Um, well, I don't think that you can use it quite yet because it's not letting me use it. But basically, um, before the tutorial, you can use it to kind of stop time and when you're like running from monsters and stuff. And um, you can avoid battles and things like that. So it's pretty handy. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Saga 3, we'll be heading back to the future. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy watching!